Now, as we head towards the end of the year, it is time that we start to think about our career plans. And if you've ever wanted to work with animals, Tracy Hampton from Vet Nurse Plus might have the answer. Morning, Tracy, and welcome Thanks. to Harvey Norman Lounge. Thank you. So you work, uh, you're, you're from Vet Nurse Plus, so tell yes. me a little bit about what you do and what Vet Nurse Plus actually is. So I'm the business manager for Vet Nurse Plus, and Vet Nurse Plus is a private training establishment, or PTE, um, that focuses on the training of veterinary nurses. So we've got two centres in Auckland, one in North Auckland, one in South Auckland, um, and it was founded by vets and vet nurses that saw a bit of a gap in the um, market for really highly skilled, um, highly practical vet nurses that could really hit the ground running um, okay. when it came to time to work in the clinic. So jump straight into it. So why should someone choose to study through Vet Nurse Plus? So we're known um, to be a boutique provider, so we um, keep our class size quite small, so no more than 30 students in our class, which means that we can really focus on that one-to-one -one support for our learners, really um, help them with the program. So lots of attention there um, from our tutors who are amazing, um, qualified, and experienced vets and vet nurses. And the other reason I think, the other main reason would be um, the employment rates. We've got really outstanding employment rates for our graduates. Um, we're well known in the veterinary industry um, for providing excellent vet nurses who can just get in there and get the job done And that's exactly away. what you want, isn't it, if you're yep. employing somebody Absolutely. and if you're going to study for something, you want to be able to hopefully get a job exactly. at the end of it. Yeah. Uh, so how long is the training period for? So it's a two-year program. So our graduates exit with the New Zealand Diploma in Veterinary Nursing. Wow. Yeah. Can anyone become a vet nurse? Like yes. Even I do it? Yes, absolutely. As long as you've got an interest in animals, that's kind of key. Yeah. Um, but we have all kinds of students. We've got the school leavers. We've got um, people who want a complete change in um, career um, and come and retrain. We've got mums who think it might be, you know, the kids are a bit older and they really want to follow their passion. Um, so absolutely, if you, you know, you've got a real interest in working with animals, if you don't mind a bit of hard work and you really enjoy working with people, um, it's a really great career. That sounds perfect. Yeah. So why is being why is it so rewarding, do you think? I think it's a really emotionally rewarding job. You really get to make a difference in an animal's life um, and you're the one who's doing a lot of the care and a lot of the TLC um, in the clinic. Um, it's also a job where no two days are going to be the same. So you never know what's going what, what's to walk through the door yeah. in, in the vet clinic. So it's quite challenging. It keeps you on your toes. And um, I think another reason would be there's lots of career opportunities. So you might train to be a veterinary nurse and work in a clinic, but you can take it all kinds of places. You can work overseas in animal welfare and conservation projects. Um, you can manage practices. You can teach. You can go on to sales repping, um, nutri feline and canine nutrition repping. Wow. And yeah, so there's stacks of things you can do. With it's it. quite a diverse selling job then. Yeah, it's a really good foundational qualification to have if you want to work with animals. And it's two years. Yep, two years. So tell me then, I know you've probably answered half of this up because there is no typical day, but what yep. would be a typical day in a vet nurse life? So, yeah, so it kind of um, depends where you might be based in the clinic. So so um, you might be working with uh, the owners or working with surgical patients or working in the hospital. Um, but it might start out at reception dealing with um, patient um, admissions. Um, you can move down the back and start doing preoperative checks and um, that sort of thing, getting the animal prepped for surgery. You might be working with the vet in surgery. It's the nurses who do all of the monitoring of anaesthetics. It's kind of key, quite a key role in surgery. Um, and then afterwards it's all post-operative um, checks and monitoring lots of diagnostics, x-rays, dentals, you might be involved in all of that. And at the end of the day, there's usually a lot of um, patient discharge, lots of talking to owners, giving them guidance about what they need to do with their um, with their fur baby, with all the medications and things like that. Mm. Yeah. So what sort of thing, if you were perhaps, say, a school leaver and you're thinking about mm -hmm. going down this road, what mm -hmm. sort of things should you, or if you're still in high school, what should you be thinking about taking course Yeah, wise? great question. So um, definitely stick with your science, stick with your maths and your English. Okay, so when they want to give up yep. maths, say this is why no. you need to do it. Why do you need to offer the what, measuring up of drugs? And things yeah, and drugs. So, yeah, so the nurses are dealing with all of the drug calculations, mm. it's a massive um, part of it. So you've got to be um, fairly good um, with your numbers. But obviously, we give all of that training during the right. program too. Yeah. But that is a good reason for them to stick with maths. Absolutely. I like that. Yes. Hey, thank you so much for coming in today. It's thank been you. really interesting. We'll probably get a few new vet nurses out of this as well. <laughs> if you would like to find out more, simply head along to vetnurseplus.co.nz. Now to our pet of the week. Congratulations to beautiful Heidi. Look at Heidi there. Oh, cute. $50 to spend at petpost.co.nz is on its way to your owner and best friend, Wendy Grindley. And if you'd like to enter your pet, and it can be any type of pet as well, just upload a pic on our Facebook page.